Okay, getting started on the cutting process of uh, making this folder, making it for a fella. And uh, anyhow, this is this is the sketch that I made. I've, I've drawn it out. I know exactly how many pieces of uh, that I need to make, what I need to cut out, and I have my stitch lines um, put drawn out there on the on the paper. You can see uh, there's a pocket for uh, you can slide papers in a little card holder. Uh, pocket on the front of that and then on the other side there's a little split for a legal pad it's eight eight inches wide and then you can see the binder in the middle there and on the bottom is the the front side the part that people will see I've got I'll tool his name in the middle I know where the rivets are going there's uh, a line there for stitches uh, I know how far out I want to make the stitch from the, the border or the edge of the leather rather and then I'll scribe a line just inside of that and that's where I will um, do the edge and tool around the entire edge and so that's the the main part of uh, getting your idea together and starting on the piece that you're going to make okay as you can see here I've got the first piece we just uh, laid out um, cut and it's detached and so now we need to look at how to place or w what part of the hide here to to cut the the other side out the back side or the front side however one do it but uh, I've thought about maybe putting putting it here I've laid I've laid this out to where I can maybe think about cutting it here and what I'm taking into consideration is uh, what will be left of the hide after I cut that out and so we'll have this kind of almost L-shape uh, portion here and then you could use all of this for something or maybe make something from from this section okay so we've got the two big pieces cut out now we're going to cut out the pocket and we can see here that the pocket is nine and a half and I didn't make the measurement here, but it's uh, five and three quarters uh, this way. So I've got that marked out here. And as you can see, this edge right here was one of the cut lines for the two big piece. And this right here was where I'd cut another one out, as you can tell just by the shape of it. So now I have two uh, straight lines here. This is a little wider. It's going to be nine and a half, which comes out to here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out because there's not really going to be much use for um, a piece right here. Sorry about that. I missed my uh, got off target. But anyway, uh, I'll just I'll just go ahead and cut this whole piece out right here, and um, and that that'll be the pocket. Now, one thing that I did do was I measured out to the the uh, nine and a half inches at the bottom and nine and a half inches at the top, and then just to make sure that it's square uh, with the the, uh, the notepad, you, I measured from this corner to that corner and then this one to here, and they equaled both, um, I think, 11 and an eighth. So that lets us know that it is for sure square and you're going to be on target when you lay the, the leather down on the material. Okay, we got that part cut out, and now all we uh, have left to cut is the the front pocket that we're going to use for the uh, business card holder okay so from this piece of leather here we cut that end off and we were going to uh, do the pocket for the business cards and I decided to go ahead and use this because it measured out just fine and uh, what I've done is uh, traced out the size of the business card right here and I'll get a little closer so you can see, but along this edge, uh, that's the edge of the business card right right there. Um, so I came out the same thickness as the leather itself and, and made a mark on that so that when you fold it up, the, the, the side, which, you know, will be the side of the pocket, will come up to the same thickness or come out to the same edge right here because if I had decided to fold on this edge they would make the, the pocket a little uh, smaller so you come out just a little bit but I scored it 
you know, with my little swivel knife there, and that way it'd make the fold better. And then, of course, this here is kind of a little tab where you can pull the business cards out, and it's already marked out to where it'll be just a little bit of an overhang. So this is another good example of, of why we try to do the best you can to make sure that you're not messing up any pieces of leather that you don't have to because you never know uh, when you'll need them. And in this case, I'm going to use it to make the pocket. So what I'm going to do now, since I've marked it out, I went ahead and marked it uh, where it'll uh, be the right size when it's dry. So um, I marked it and I'm just going to put it in this little plate of water and uh, let it soak for just a little bit. And uh, that leather will absorb the water and get a lot more flexible and then we can form it around that stack of business cards. I made the uh, stack of business cards. I counted out about 20 of my business cards so that um, that would be a pretty good number to carry around with you. And uh, mine are a little bit thick so if somebody wanted to put a little bit more in there with a thinner card that would work just fine. So we'll, we'll let that soak for a little bit and come back and form it around the stack of cards. All right, so we've taken this little stack of cards here and, and molded this piece of leather um, around it. So as you can see, it's kind of a little pocket there. I, I've just got it glued on, and uh, would I just put it over that uh, little stack of cards, and uh, it takes some time. You know, you just have to kind of work it around here. All that's kind of burnished there because I had used my uh, uh, edge tool there, a little piece of uh, wood that you use for burnishing the edge of the leather. <clears throat> I kind of use that to form it up, put a couple splits in there just to, because that part of the leather had to bend a little bit, just to take a little bit of the pressure off. And so along that stitch, or along that uh, dark line there, that's where our stitching will be. So it, it won't be as noticeable, plus we're going to treat the leather once we're done anyway. And then that, there's the little uh, place you can kind of use to as a little thumb tab to pull out the, the cards. And then here I, I've drawn out my pattern uh, that's going to go be the flap and cut that out. So I've got that and it'll actually um, sew in. I'll sew it on the back side like that and then it'll, and it'll fold on over. So uh, we're about to stitch it up and, and then trim the excess off. Okay, now that we've got the uh, the pocket sewn in, as you can see, and I'll get closer, uh, we've got to trim this this edge here, um, trim all all this excess junk off here. But what I've done, as you can tell, I've uh, made a mark on my cut line. Now, what you want to make sure of is that you don't cut into the back piece of leather when you cut through, or even leave a mark. So since the edge of the line here is a little bit beyond that what I, what I do is I take a piece of this basically I don't know I guess this is for drywall or something anyway thin piece of metal and I'll insert it underneath there all the way up to the stitches and that way I can you know just cut freely along that line to, to trim off the excess so uh, uh, that's what we're going to do now Okay, so now we've got the excess trimmed off, the edge coat put on all the edges, the flap stitched in, you can see it here on the back, and also went ahead and did the edge coating and slicked this edge down because this will be the pocket that fits inside the folder and you don't want to have to do that after you've uh, already stitched it in, so you want to do that in advance. And then this is actually the front side, this is the, the outside of the folder you know represented here on this diagram and or this uh, drawing as you can see it's got the the stitch lines and then the tooled edge and that's what we've I've already done that here uh, I've measured out from the edge how far I wanted to put the stitches and took the edge groover put a groove and that's where the uh, the stitches will go and of course it'll look a little more narrow when I'm done because you have to uh, trim the, the edge, of this corner off here um, with, with this little tool and that'll 
help us when we're going to go slicking the edge down. And now I have to mark out from that the line where the tooling the, or the tooled border rather will go. So that'll be the next step. Okay, so now that um, we've we've got that stitch line here, and then I've um, put used my edge groover to make the line that'll be the edge of where the tooling goes. And as you can see, I've already started it, and I use using this little tool here, which makes this design. And all along the edge, of course, it's a little bit wet. You have to wet it to make sure that the leather will hold the stamp real good and soften it up, so it gets a real defined. Uh, um, tool along that edge and uh, well, I'm going to finish going all the way around it and then we'll get started on putting the two pieces together uh, before we stitch them up. One thing I want to mention real quick is um, when you get to the edge if, uh, if you've ever done this before you probably already know but when you get to the edge r right here you can see how the stamps that when you go all the way across the whole thing it, it doesn't necessarily um, come to the end but you don't want to change your your pattern and make any inconsistencies just for the sake of you know catching that little sixteenth of an inch so what we'll do instead of uh, you know trying to stretch it out and making two pieces to the end you just stop a little bit short of it and then come back and place on this end going up and that will overlap that piece and compensate for that little deficit and there we've done it I've went ahead and put that other deal or that other uh, stamp in there and I'll continue to go around the, the edge of this entire uh, piece here all right now that we've got the uh, the tooling all around the edges as you can see we're going to um, lay out the back or the inside of it and I've measured from end to end to, to find the center make sure I got my center and this is the the part the side that'll show the, of the hide and got a line here but this is where the um, the three ring binder piece will go so I got to measure I got to find the center so I can measure out to find just where my score lines go that I'll I'll put in here that makes the the leather fold easily because it's it's kind of thick and you and you want it to be able to fold without you know being real bulky looking and uh, that way it'll fold over nicely just just beyond the three ring binder being this is the inside and that will actually uh, face the inside of the the inside of this I went ahead and marked this with a pin but on this one as you can see I've just scored the lines that way when or that way when I when I cut a little groove there with my swivel knife you won't have any uh, pin marks in in the groove so there's our, our um, score lines where this will fold nice and I took the groover and kind of went along the inside edge just kind of knock that little lip off where it um, kind of puckers up when you cut it a little bit and that way it'll it won't meet with resistance when you put you know fold it up and as you can see on this piece you can see on the back side where I grooved it it already makes just a real nice clean line so so when you when you when I bend it over it'll almost be uh, almost like there's a, a backing in there somewhat so that does that real nice but I made a mistake and uh, you know I I had mentioned that you need to always draw everything out and plan it and know what you're going to do before you do it and that way everything lays out just right and the the lines are all matched up and um, I bring your attention back to this stitch line and the tool line which is this and this but I, I kind of had an afterthought and I thought it'd make a really nice uh, touch just to on this inside pocket to go ahead and tool around the edges of that so I just eyeballed it uh, set my groover to what looked to be you know good little space there for when I lay out when I lay this um, pocket inside on here and it's from the from this side it looks great 
But what I did not take into consideration is that this line where of tooling is considerably further back than this line. And the line where this tooling on the pocket starts is about where the, the stitch line is going to go. So when I come through on the front stitching this thing up, I have no idea where that stitch is going to hit inside this uh, tooling because I just eyeballed it when I uh, put the groove around the edge. And uh, if it was mine, if I wasn't making it for somebody else, I w it wouldn't be as big a deal. I wouldn't have been very happy about it, but it is what it is. And uh, we'll go ahead and stitch it up and see how lucky we get, if lucky at all. All right, now that we've got everything tooled, everything laid out, and I've got the groove in this back piece, and uh, everything is ready to go, we've got our lines uh, scribed in the back so it'll fold real nice. Uh, the next step will be to, um, to stain it. I want to go ahead and stain this piece. This is the only piece that's going to be stained. That, that leather will be treated, but this will be stained and I don't want to stain over top of your my stitches and unless you want uh, you know the stitches to match the leather you don't either so we want to get the stain on there and also his name is going to go right in the middle and uh, so we'll do that next all right now that I've got it stained I'm going to take a uh, I'm going to take kind of a, a wet um, paper towel and kind of hit it in the middle and try to rub some of this off. It's been drying for a few minutes. But I'm going to try to lighten it up a little bit in the center and kind of give it a distressed look or kind of worn antique look to it. And uh, I think that'll make a good touch for this piece. Just another afterthought. I was looking at this edge here. I, I decided I was just going to treat the leather rather than stain it. And then I was kind of looking at these, uh, these tooling along the border here. I thought it looked a little bit blah so what I've done is I've taken a paintbrush as you can see here I'm just using this antique leather stain and just going in into those grooves to uh, kind of give it some color and make that um, make that tooling pop and make it stand out a little bit and uh, I, I did a test piece first uh, right, right there I just wanted to make sure it was gonna look okay so I uh, did that, and I think it's going to turn out okay and kind of make this pocket really uh, really look good on the inside. One of my one of my things is I like to make think, make the parts that even that you don't see look good. Um, I mean, you see it if it's open, but just kind of want to make it a little bit different than anything else I've ever seen or most people do. So we'll see how this finishes out. Just wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing here, or how I'm doing it. Take that. You can kind of spread the, the stain that you have on your brush out. A little bit, kind of evenly. You gotta be very careful, just make sure it gets all right down in those grooves, but no more than you're intending to and uh, this little groove that I made before I started doing this made it lots easier to keep that line straight and of course I want to kind of feather this out right here and make a um, make the tops of those little round parts really stand out Do that and get a damp paper towel, kind of wipe away the wipe away the excess there. That's what it looks like. That's how you do it. All right, we got it all uh, got it all stained along the edges of this thing. You just uh, got to take your time. It's probably the most time-consuming uh, part of building this thing that I've 
actually done, but I'm glad I did it because it really, in my view, makes that thing look a whole lot better and makes it really stand out and gives it a real finished look. I'll let you be the judge of whether you think it looks good or not. But anyhow, if you do decide to do this, make sure you use a, a stain, not any kind of edge coat or grab, you know, leather dye or something like that because it will not, uh, it will not wipe off, you know, in these grooves because if you're trying to make sure you get it on certain parts of it then you'll probably be in a big mess but anyhow next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back in there and start putting the pieces together the the front of the um, the front of the folder is dry now so now I can uh, glue the front the front and the inside together and get prepared to start stitching it up I've got, now that I've got it all glued together, and uh, this is the what will be in the inside. There's the, the pockets that we made, and then this is the the front side or the outside of it. I've got it all. I glued it, everything, the backs of all this up to this point. This, of course, is not glued with the exception of the edge because it needs to be able to uh, accommodate the pad that's going to go into here. Um, I put these clips over it here, let it, let it, uh, kind of the glue dry all night, and getting ready to put the stitches in. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, it's all ready to go and give to the, the client. I've got got the name on the the binding here. I've got the, you can see the rivets on the sides there on the outside where the um, three ring binder is the legal pad notebook Every, all of this is finished out real nice I put a treated the leather and then put the clear coat um, on the inside and out you can see if I can kind of get that angle here it kind of has a sheen to it finished all the edges so those are looking real good um, I've already got some of his business cards here and as you can see they're very simple to pull out so got that done hoping he'll like it and I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you um, feel free to leave a comment let me know what you think and any questions you have or if you want to tell me how you would have done it better that'd be fine too I'm never above learning something new so till next time I appreciate you watching I'm Joshua Shambo with Shambo Leather and uh, we'll see you later